on this week's nonsensible podcast. A if I was later. being sensitive, I would tease you for posting selfies at the gym. Hey, Dave. I've got some uh, interesting girls for you to meet. I'd, I'd love to carry her. Oh. Well, Want to drink some beer? Screwed me up. <laughs> I want an NVIDIA RTX 3090. What's that? It's a video card. I like these early podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> This is Nonsensible. Hey, you cool cats and kittens. Welcome to the Tebok Show. <laughs> <laughs> what the? This is, is the Tebok Show? This is the Tebok Show, dude. Cool cats and kittens. Where have you pulled that one from? Tiger King. Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, see, that's something good that happened so in 2020. Bad. Starting off early. Very early. That well, Baskins. Welcome back to another episode of Nonsensible with Sam, Dave, and Saul. Yo. Yeah. Our guest today Nicely is… Done. Hi everyone, it's Leonard here. Thanks for having me, guys. No worries. Yeah. You understand this accent? D- did you understand well, what I completely said? understood what he said. If that's what you're saying, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said hello. This is Leonard here. So you, you didn't say understand his name. <laughs> Leonard. You, Leonard. Leonard. That's Why how we Leonard? Said to Leonard. Leonard. How Leonard. would you say it in America? That's what I said. Leonard. That's exactly the same. No, you it's, said it's a little bit different. It's a little different. It's in America, different. they're like Leonard. Yeah. Leonard. In Australia, well, it's just Leonard. Nobody Leonard. says Kawhi Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> you know? they, they I the R is That's a true. lot… The pronunciation of the R for you guys is a little bit different. Stronger. Yeah. But what is it? The O's and the A's. Or you turn your O's into A's. O's into A's. We talked about A's. this before. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez. No. Lopez. Lopez. Yeah. Lopez. Oh, we're getting a little political, guys. Let's move on. Okay. Yeah. Is it really… What? Jennifer Lopez is political these days? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think she's unanimously decided she's hot. She's pretty hot. She's one of the least divisive stars. She looks good for her age. That's for, for sure. her age, definitely, for her age. definitely. Yeah. Now, for our listeners and viewers who may not know who you are, mm-hmm. why don't you give you a brief introduction of yourself? Okay, uh, my name's Leonard. Uh, I am living in Korea. Mm-hmm. I've been here for about a year and a half now. Um, born in Australia, but my parents are from Singapore, actually. Mm-hmm. So, uh, my parents they migrated to Australia to have both me and my sister. Um, that's why I have this accent. But my parents, they sound really Singaporean. Mm-hmm. Really Singaporean. So if you've heard like… If you ever heard of what Singlish is? Oh yeah, yeah Singlish. You have? That's what yeah. they sound like. Singlish is awesome. It's, what is Singlish? Singlish is Singaporean English. English. Yeah. And so… I watched a Singaporean… Singaporean? Singapore, a stand-up yeah. yes. class, a guy from Singapore. Before. Oh, you did? Who's the biggest like stand-up comedian in Singapore? He, he had a Netflix special. You have oh, to really? Have, you have to have information before you start a sentence. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's a valid question. But I mean, yeah. I, I'm more Australian than yeah. Singaporean. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I, I'm a Chinese Singaporean by blood. Uh, I've been living in Korea for a year and a half. Uh, before that, I was in LA. F- I was in LA for a year, Vancouver for two years, uh, Singapore for two years, and then Australia. Perth, Western Australia. Jeez. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Before then. You've been in Europe too? I just saw visits. But yeah. like these are the places I've kind of yeah. spent at least You should a year do one in. of those things where you have a big map and you put little pins in every place you visited. I thought about that. Really? That'd but, be cute. Yeah. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess <laughs> that Vancouver is relative to your… Why you were in LA for film and television purposes? Would that yeah, be for uh, acting, auditioning. Yep. Um, just… Trialing everything in entertainment at that mm-hmm. point, yeah. How was that? You were a great Abercrombie model. Oh, sorry. I saw that. Oh, you were an thank Abercrombie you. model. Thank you. Thank you were you. an Abercrombie model. Yeah, yeah. That was that great. was well, yeah, back in the day when I was in shape. He really killed it. That uh, was really cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. That was Appreciate back. In, you. That was when you were back in Australia. That was back when I was in uh, Singapore. In Singapore. So I went from Australia to Singapore um, to to do jobs like that, actually. And um, after I left Australia, like I never really. Went back. Never really called it home. Um, the only thing that attaches me to Australia now is probably like mom, dad still there. Mm-hmm. And a passport, right? And a passport. Yeah, I never let go of the Australian passport. And a citizenship. Yes. So a lot of things connect you to Australia. Passport, mom, dad, a couple <laughs> of best friends. Yeah. 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 I, I think it's… A, it, it, but it's the same. Everyone's been through that. Once you relocate to another country in the world, yeah. it's kind of… You, you could move back to your home country. But you still have a connection to the country you're living in and vice versa. Like you, you're stuck between, you, you know, between two rocks in a hard place. Yeah. It's kind of a difficult position to, to put yourself in, I think, once you've lived abroad for so long. Would you ever want to live in Australia again? 
I think so. I really, I really like Australia for retirement. You know, there's so many things I miss about Australia. Just mm-hmm. how peaceful it is, how friendly everyone is. And that's things I took for granted, I think. Yeah, but I think, you know, if you want to um, achieve a lot of… Well, for what I'm set out to achieve, um, Australia is not the place mm. because, you know, it's more about the environment. The environment in Australia is very relaxed mm. and everyone's easygoing. I'm not saying everyone's not ambitious, but I'm saying everyone outside of Australia is far, almost far more ambitious, in my opinion. Totally understand. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's a slower lifestyle. But yeah. like you said, I think also in coming from a country like Australia, because it is predominantly an English speaking country, we get all our media from America or from the UK. Yeah. So based on that, there's not, we don't have the need to produce as much within Australia itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just kind of like, well, we can we can get friends, a sitcom from America. Yeah. We really? can pay we, yeah. we can pay so much to buy it, or we could produce something similar in Australia that's gonna cost us three or four times that. Why would you know and from a production standpoint, a broadcasting standpoint, it's like we'll just buy all the shit that America makes. Yeah. Well, one guy that Australia gave to America is that Jim Jeffries dude. Yeah. I love him. Is Jim Jeffries as funny to people who have an Australian accent, or is he just fun, like super funny to me? Because I don't find him that funny. I found him funny I, when I was like, who's Jim Jeffries? A Jim senior Jeffries in high school, but you comedian. knew him then? Oh. Yeah, I didn't even know. I, when I was younger, I found him funny, but now I just find him obnoxious. Yeah, I kind of grew out of that. Yeah, yeah. I think he's funny, but the Australian people I've heard don't think he's that as funny. Yeah. He's, not, he's not that funny. I, I, I don't find him overly funny. Uh, yeah, funny to. People outside of Australia. Yeah. He's like it's Dane like, Cook for Australia. It's, it's Is like, he really? It's like Foster's. Foster's beer. Yeah. yeah. No one in Australia drinks, drinks Foster's beer. It's true. Yeah. It's Nobody like swamp it. water. It's like you don't go near it. It's yeah. shit. It's what you play for beer pong because it's punishment. That's like yeah. Pat's. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. the worst That's beer like in Australia. Blue Ribbon or whatever. Yeah. PBR. yeah. But, Pat, but people actually kind of like Pabst. Now it's they like, do because yeah. it's like beer. ironic to yeah. like it. Yeah. What what brought you to Korea then? Uh, Well, a girl. Uh-huh. Um, but now it, it's it's more than that. It's uh, working opportunities. Mm-hmm. So um, we're talking about 2020 and and you know how it forces people to to like you know they're back against the wall. There's you got to create opportunities in 2020. So mm-hmm. this year, you know, I just stayed in Korea. I was actually meant to go back to uh, LA. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to live in LA, but it's just much safer and um, better to be here at this point. Mm. So um, I was just telling. Uh, Dave, actually, that uh, me and uh, a couple of my best friends, we started a jewelry company out here. Yep. And uh, it's been maybe, what's this, eight, nine months where we've been working on it. And it's flourished pretty well. We've done quite well for you ourselves. You killing it, right? I mean, uh, we're, <laughs> it's, it's, we're very happy. Yeah, we're very second happy. Second degree murder. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Thanks, it's man. You, know, you know about it before? No, yeah, I know about it. I, I know the friends he uh, yeah. works with. Oh, cool. Really yeah, actually, me and, me, me and Dave… We should have met a, a while ago now yeah. considering how many mutual friends we have. 2020. It's 2020. 2020. Yeah, no one's going out yeah. of the house. Yeah. Or so, we um, you know. Uh, it's called Capsule Collective. Uh, we're a jewelry company and, and we um, we make limited edition collaborative jewelry with uh, singers, mm-hmm. artists. Oh, cool. Um, so we've done maybe six, seven campaigns now. We're, we're working hard but I feel like there's so much room to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's something that, you know, me and my best friends… Have been fortunate enough to to work on this year. As somebody who's working on who has an, a pretty established company, but you guys are still young, right? In terms of your company's uh, yeah life, uh, how has this pandemic affected you? Is that too much of a negative question? Do you mind me asking? Um, actually, we kind of went in this direction because of the pandemic, Ooh, okay. thinking that e-commerce is the space mm-hmm. for us, um, and. The way that we view our like company and our jewelry line is 50% product, 50% content. Yeah. And you know, like we wanted to really utilize our specialties in in content making and really pushing out like great content. Um, and that's kind of been our strength this year. How does one promote jewelry? Um, same way you would promote a clothing line. Um, same way you would promote any sort of product, I guess. Good photos and attractive people. Yeah. I mean, that's that's always a plus. Mm-hmm. Attractive people are plus. Um, 
but our you know whole business model and concept is based around the audience and fan base of the artists that uh-huh. we collaborate okay, with. Okay. So it's all about picking the right artists that uh, we feel like we can create something really special with. And so far, you know, we're seven for seven really great campaigns. You know, yeah. the audiences and fans have loved it. So awesome. when you say collaborative, how how collaborative is it? Like, is the artist actually getting in there and designing pieces for the for each um, season, or whatever it is you want to call it? Yeah, very much so. Um, we get in. Uh, we sit down, have a meeting, and we talk about everything and anything. Mm-hmm. Anything that they have wanted to create in terms of an accessory. And uh, we kind of do our best to bring that to life as much as possible. So like uh, bracelets, necklaces, uh, rings. Um, that's what we're trying to look at. Funny yeah. thing you know, is I was talking to his partner, Richard, and he was like, Yo, Dave, uh, <laughs> you should hook me up with… Uh, some people you know and I was like oh there's Sam he's like oh that'd be tight I'm like I'll talk to Sam and I forgot <laughs> <laughs> now here he is here's your pitch 2020, here 2020. 2020. Do, but do you guys just do singers or just entertainers in they're general? trying to go into a lot of influencers now too yeah who, who have you worked point? with um, so we've worked with uh, the latest campaign we did was with my, my good friend Kevin Wu mm-hmm. um, before that was with Soren from CLC yep um, before that was Samuel Kim he's out in LA uh, Pak Ji Hoon was a member of this group 101. Um, Han Sung Woo, which was in this group X1, and his whole group uh, called Victon. Um, and we've got a couple more in it lined up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're just trying to be a little bit more, we're trying to learn from every campaign, try yep. and make every single campaign better in terms of the type of uh, filmography, the type of marketing, um, and just making the product better too. Yep. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, has anyone made a knuckle duster yet? What's a, like a, a knuckle duster? You know, you, on, brass knuckles. Oh yeah. yeah, brass knuckles. Yeah. Is that an Australian term? A knuckle duster? I've never heard that before. It, it is. It's an Australian, it's the most Australian, Australian, Australian thing I've ever heard. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Brass knuckle knuckles. Duster. There we go. Yeah. yeah. A knuckle duster. This is a knuckle duster. <laughs> a knuckle duster. A knuckle duster. Well, I haven't heard that in ages. A Sorry. Knuckle duster. Yeah, I, I like I, it. I just, yeah, I didn't that even cool. think. I just. Yeah. Sounds gangsterish. Yeah. Knuckle dust. No, it is. It's the most gangster thing ever. <laughs> like brass knuckles. Knuckle yeah, 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 dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew exactly what she was said when you said it. Oh, really? Yeah, I got it. I okay. figured that's what you were talking about. Yeah. But I've never heard it before. I like it. Yeah, that's that's hardcore. That's gangster. No, we have not made okay. one. Okay. But that should know. be Sam. Yeah. yeah or have Sam. you done have you done a four finger ring? <laughs> Sam's trying to get away from the dad <laughs> yeah. image. He I wants know. a more tough guy. <laughs> more tough guy image. Yeah, you know, or the, the, what are the what are the, you know the old school four finger rings? What are the, what are those called? <laughs> Knuckle dust. No, no, no. It's like a like the eighties hip hop. Like in do the right thing. Yeah. The love uh, and hate. Uh, Did they yeah, have a name for those rings? I don't know. Like I don't a, know what you call this. A fist ring, maybe. I don't know. Fist <laughs> ring. <That laughs> no, I'm just throwing it out. I mean, I've got one of those. I've got not like a full four, a four finger ring. I've got like a two finger ring. That's that's qualifies. That would be dust. that would be a really funny campaign actually. If if Sam just really was like a. To his kids and stuff yeah. in the videos. Yeah. It's like, Dad, will you come play with me? No. And he's in there like polishing his knuckle duster. <laughs> <laughs> like, knuckle yeah. That's evil. Yeah. We'll talk after Sam. We'll make <laughs> yeah. we'll make knuckle we'll do a collaborative knuckle duster. Nice. Yeah. Well, the capsule, knuckle duster. Capsule Sam. Well, but you could go duster. with this concept, like don't f- with my kids. You yeah. Know? That'd be kind of badass. Or we could get them when the knuckle dusters beat me up. No, don't. <laughs> Yeah. We're headed in a completely different direction yeah. now. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just throwing yeah. things out there. This I don't is why know. we're yeah, not so marketing. That way, <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk. We'll, like, we'll leave it to the pros. We'll, yeah. to we'll the open pros. up to ideas. You know, if Capsule starts making, you know, weapons. <laughs> Katana, I know, dude. Call. I know. Dad, Katana. Katana. Yeah. Katana. I want to. I want a Katana, dude. That I, would be. That would be cool. Yeah. I also read somewhere that you have like um, a management company, a talent management company. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something I started. Um, Maybe like two and a half months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, once Capsule was, you know, running well and we've got the process and we put in so much hard work over the first six, seven months, gave me a bit of time to think, all right, well, what else can I do out here? Mm-hmm. And um, I have a lot of Southeast Asian friends that are uh, content creators. Mm-hmm. And they don't really have like a home or a management or any connect to, you know, the Korean entertainment scene. So I had one friend, you know, um, a close friend, she was, we were talking about her opportunities and what she wanted to do. And we decided to just help each other out. Started with her. And um, yeah, I'm just, 
I'm very, very happy with how that's gone. We've got maybe 10 creators underneath me now. Mm-hmm. Who? Sorry? Who? Uh, Tell me. So do you… <laughs> <laughs> no. Tell me more. The authority over here needs right. to know. So um, I've got… <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. To, to, name a, to name a few. Um, my, my first creator, her name's Sabrina. Sabrina. She goes by JP Brinks on TikTok, on Instagram, mm-hmm. on YouTube. And she's great. I think that she, she's, uh, she represents the Muslim community. But she's oh, out cool. here and she can speak Korean fluently. Um, she's got a great YouTube personality. Um, she's very, very intelligent. She's studying engineering out here. And um, she actually had to learn Korean and is now studying engineering in Korean. Wow. Like that's that, so dope. That that's is good. next level yeah. stuff. Yeah, that, that is next level. That's awesome. So… Um, yeah, she's also become a very, very close friend and, and we're, she's grown massively. I think she's grown from, you know, she's grown maybe 100,000 100, across her platforms yeah. um, in the past month and a half, two oh, months. And while going to school, like a real renaissance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Awesome. That is cool. Yeah, but um, cool. we have a team that, that helps her with filming, with editing, mm-hmm. uh, with marketing. And uh, she just needs to, to keep enjoying the process. That's like… Something I tell my creators, mm. keep enjoying the process um, because as, as soon as it's not fun anymore, we can tell and the audience can tell. And you know, it, there's going to be a certain point where you're going to be like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And that just wastes all of our time really. But um, I think that she's, um, she's a, a huge prospect and um, there's her. Uh, I've got a, a good friend in Singapore. His name's Ben. Um, and uh, he's… Like a YouTube personality out in Singapore, but he has a lot of interest in Korea. So um, we've been trying to to work and, and find opportunities for him out here. So, so it's not just it's not just um, a talent management uh, company for Korean based performers. Then, no, not at all. This um, is, sounds got, like an MCM almost. Um, almost, but I, I like to think of it as a hybrid management company. Mm. Um, I only work with my friends really because uh, I want to know who I'm, I see. I'm, cool. I'm working with. And um, if I'm investing my time and energy into something, like I want to work with people that I Are you always care looking and, for new talent? Sorry? Are you always looking for new talent? Um, the new, I'm always looking for new talent that's the right talent. Um, Are you going to throw your hat in the ring? No. Have you ever… <laughs> Dave's, Dave, Dave's, no, <laughs> what? No, Dave's the best. He knows what he's doing. Have you ever walked up to a beautiful woman on the street and said, You're going to be a star, sweetheart. <laughs> 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 Why would he say that to begin with with that voice? That's what I'm saying. If I was a if I was a talent manager, yeah, would, it's like 1930s, like <laughs> Hollywood. I would talk like that if I was a talent manager. I'm gonna make you a star. I'll try that. I'll try. I'll try. I can see you in the pictures. <laughs> I can see you on the big screen, darling. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's been- <laughs> we're idiots. <laughs> you'll you'll get used to it. It's been a good time. Yeah. Um. So. That's that's how I'm kind of splitting my time at the moment. How tall are you? How tall am I? You're so tall. In in centimeters, You're I'm so 188 tall. centimeters. Speak uh, American. <laughs> I, I believe that's six two. In <laughs> I think so. Too. <laughs> Man, I still don't know what a f- centimeter is. I think I'm like what, You said you're one. What? Okay, okay. 188. Oh, so I think I'm like 170. So I'm 100. And, I'm 180. Yeah. Okay. I'm like 181. Oh, maybe I do know how tall I am in centimeters. It, how big is a centimeter? I'm not sure. Like I can do Something millimeters like to centimeters. I can do… Um, what is it? One kilometer is what? Like 1.6 miles? 1.3 miles. You know what's so. wild about me? I forgot Fahrenheit. I forgot miles per hour. And I forgot inches. I forgot everything. All I know is Kevin Durant is 6'11". <laughs> That's the important he's, he's stuff. He's 7'10", isn't he? No, he's 6'10", 6'11". You don't, you don't oh. even know how, how many inches you are. 80, 181 is like six feet. Yeah. So six foot one is like, I think it's 180. You're six. Two to like four. Yeah, six one is. Yeah. I know, I know, I know kilograms now. Yeah. You're halfway there, but what the fuck is Fahrenheit? Yeah, Fahrenheit is the hardest thing to to learn. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense. Why is, so zero degree, your your zero point is just like completely out of whack. It doesn't make any sense. What's that Kurt Vonnegut book called? Fahrenheit 451? I don't remember. Something like that. Yeah, 451 sounds about right. I don't understand Fahrenheit. 
And yeah. I don't think that we Fahrenheit doesn't because understand I feel like everyone you. should convert to yeah, we should, Celsius. I agree. I, I mean, like America's the only place that kind of uses Fahrenheit, right? I don't get it either. I just know that 32 is freezing. Yeah. Why is why is your freezing point 32? And why I, are you asking me? No, I'm not. I'm just, it's a rhetorical question. Why are you why is your winter and summer and summer I, and winter? I think huh? Americans are just inherently Why are you guys stubborn? upside down? <laughs> I think, hey, it's not just us. You but, can ask half a dozen countries. It's true. Uh, Americans it's are just inherently stubborn. Like we it, 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 hey, there's speak a for yourself. For it, right? Yeah, well, uh, it's got to be because of the it's like well England. England. We're, We're going to piss you shirt. off and do our own thing. It's like, yeah. you know. But if you're going to do that, why make 100 cents to a dollar as well? Like if you're really going to fuck them over. Yeah. 50 cents to the dollar or do something completely just, yeah. you know. Just throw it away. Make everyone think about everything. Yeah. Yeah. Completely fuck everything up. It's like our no, dollar is 33 it's cents. true. Don't fuck just this one thing up. Talk. Everything up. <laughs> <laughs> this is such boys talk. Thursdays oh. for the Fridays are for the boys. Dear me. Fridays are for the boys. I like these early podcasts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have way more energy this time. You notice yeah. that? It's because we're an hour. We're doing it an hour before. Because you're sleepy. usually falling. Yeah. You're usually starting to fall asleep around like yeah. 3 o'clock, right? Because yeah. his bedtime is normally at about 6 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, See, this was like 11 p.m. for me. Yeah. That's you sleep cute. at 6 p.m. He's got a yeah. wild schedule. No, I, I sleep at like 6 p.m. 6 like p.m.? 5, 6 p.m., yeah. Oh. He doesn't That's live cool. normal hours. Yeah. That's interesting. I also… Because he edits YouTube stuff uh, yeah, yeah, all, I mean, all night sense. long. Wow. Like a machine. Mm-hmm. He's a hell of an editor. I'm also a yeah, vampire. We can tell. Yeah. That's why he's got the mask on. Please excuse this brief interruption. Uh, that's right, it is me, the host of Nonsensible, one of the hosts of Nonsensible, Sam. And I just like to highlight that this episode is being brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a great, affordable alternative to offline counseling. We've all had those days, and I know I've been there. I've had uh, issues with grief myself, I've had to deal with depression issues myself as well. And there was nothing better than being able to talk to someone and talk through those issues. If I hadn't have had that opportunity, I'm not sure where my depression would have gone. Um, I've also had people that I'm very close to deal with it firsthand. And I can't recommend it strongly enough is that you go out and seek help when you're in the times of need, especially with mental issues. Uh, Of course, being situated halfway around the world, it can be difficult being able to reach out to people, but there is an opportunity where you can reach out to people 24 hours a day and they're professionals and someone that will be able to match what the issue is you're dealing with, but also there's the opportunity for financial aid services. Everything is completely confidential and licensed professionals who can specialize in areas such as depression, stress, anxiety sleeping, grief, and more. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash nonsensible. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, help, H-E-L-P dot com slash nonsensible. Now, back to the program. You've been hitting the gym again, though, I see. Not really, because it closed down. That was oh. a little bit insensitive of you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you posting <laughs> selfies at the gym. Yeah, and it closed down like if a week later. If I was later. being insensitive, I would tease you for posting selfies at the gym. Oh. <laughs> Instead, I'm complimenting your body. He's got a D'Angelo going on. I don't. You remember that D'Angelo video? That was a photo from 12 months ago, (laughs) wasn't it? What's a D'Angelo? No, yeah, he didn't even look at the he didn't even look at the Facebook post. I mean, the Instagram post. What a dude! That was what else? That muscle muscle was called an oblique, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) I I I know. I call it a D'Angelo. Do you know what? Do you know that music video? Thank you, Sam. He's just not listening. He's he just let him. He just let him. Okay, sorry. What? You're an imbecile. No, the the Instagram post had two photos. They were compa- comparing comparative photos. One was of 12 months ago. One was recently. It was an extremely depressing post. And that was Dave saying… I was talking about your stories and stuff. 
Dave was saying, like, this is what my body looked like 12 months ago. Stomach, and it looked good. I, I didn't, I didn't, never posted anything like that. You're not stalking him on Instagram properly. You're not even looking at my Instagram. I look properly. at your Instagram all the time. So you got to pay more attention. I love your Instagram. Literally, it's like, this was me 12 months ago. This is me now. I'm so disappointed in myself. So it's like, he's all like, oh, dude, look at that. Am kitchens. I lying? Did Dave's he like, or did he not say like day three? I mean, the, you went many days in a row. Yeah, I did go many days. That's in what a I'm row. talking about. But that wasn't the D'Angelo thing. Just, I, was, I was just saying that his oblique is reminiscent of a young oh, D'Angelo. Yeah. That's a compliment. Yeah. I, and I, D'Angelo's I assume, the best. I, I need to translate D'Angelo to oblique. Yes. And oh, that sounds like you a compliment. Know, to me. You know D'Angelo, right? You're a really D'Angelo. bad boyfriend, dude. <laughs> what? Basket? Did D'Angelo basket? He, he, Russell. Sorry, you need to. Any, feel. you don't know no. that song. You, the, the video is just a black background. Are you kidding and me? Beautiful man, naked. Are you, no, are you seriously kidding me right now, Diane? I, I'm yeah. sorry. Di- ahead of time for this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> it's usually not like this. It's, just, <laughs> it's usually a D'Angelo, lot and she's associated D'Angelo with basketball. I'm sorry. I thought of basketball too. Do you know how many Russell. D- D'Angelos there? Are? D- D'Angelo Russell? Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, the basketball. But D'Angelo the is the D'Angelo. greatest baby making music of all time. No, it's We. Huh? By Jeremiah. By Jeremiah. That's, 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 that's We baby. by Jeremiah is good. D'Angelo. Oh, yeah. That's a good smashing oh, yeah. song. Oh, yeah. D'Angelo is, f- <laughs> D'Angelo is fire. Yeah. When it comes to music, he's, yeah. like, he's like Prince on steroids. He's very, very, very awesome. Who, yeah. Who's D'Angelo? Wow. A basketball player. Yeah, we'll Which I yeah. tell you that. There's a couple of stuff. basketball players. Yeah. Wow. How, how old are you? I'm 30. Then you should know. You should know D'Angelo. Should know. Yeah. yeah. I don't see you. I don't know why we're D'Angelo shaming Who right now. Who is this person? Who's D'Angelo shaming? <laughs> Both of you are. D'Angelo is my hero. Wait, is it spelled D? D apostrophe Angelo. Angelo. That's a lot of people like that. Yeah. But there's only one person that calls himself D'Angelo with no surname. And mm-hmm. it's, a, it's music, is it? Yeah. D'Angelo. Just yeah. D'Angelo. Oh, man. I'm actually jealous. Dude, wasn't he married with so you get Erica to Badu? Him. What? Was he married to Erica Badu or were they no. just knocking boots? I, don't th- I didn't even know they had a thing. He, they had a thing for a while. Yeah. I know yeah. Andre had a thing with Erica Badu. They've got kids together. Yeah. No, I have no idea. Check him out later. If you're, like, if you're a music guy, that's a thing. Okay. R&B? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's my, that's my he, he, he made an album that was like a five-star album. Like yeah. a perfect album. But he only ever made. Oh, you know that brown that song, Brown Sugar. He sang that song. That's probably his, one of his most famous. Can ones. you sing it to me? Brown Sugar, uh. babe. I get high off your love. Don't know how to be. Anyway, about moving along. <laughs> okay, enough okay. about yeah. the angel. Yeah. What I think a bunch basketball. of nerds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah. Check him out. Music. Okay. Nerd. I'll take that. It. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. I'll take that in the chin. So hot topics from December twenty twenty. 2020. Um, Santa Claus is coming to town. What, what do you want Christmas. for Christmas, Christmas, guys? What do you want for Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, shit. This is a good yeah. question. I know. What, what I want. do I want for myself or for the world? Oh. Because that's completely different. Oh, You're Christmas. thinking about oh, other God. people? You, I like oh, that. You unselfish bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. I was thinking about what I wanted and he's yeah. throwing a spanner in the world. I was thinking about yeah. dropping some All right, let's start Jonathan. with what we want personally. Yeah. Okay, what do you want for Christmas? Skip, can I go last? Yeah. I'm going to go last. So I have a rubber plant like that, and it's dying. How do you and kill I a rubber plant? Uh, I uh, know, right? I'm sorry, like I thought you easy- meant it was made of rubber. Yeah. Uh, sorry. No, no, seriously. It's a, a ficus elastica or something like that. I don't know what uh-huh. you're calling. Yeah, I need one of those. Dave? Uh, <laughs> that's it? <laughs> that's all you want for Christmas? That's what I want for Christmas. I, I, I have a couple in my house. I can give you one. Really? Yeah. I'm Answer, serious, I have a bunch, but, I have, but they're big, like rubber plants. That's what I want. Okay, I, come to my house. Both of my rubber, both of my ficus elasticus are dying. Come this weekend if you really want it. Okay. Wow. All that's right. Only, um, you're that's, a pretty simple man. That's why you got to tell people what you want because uh, I want an Nvidia RTX 3090. What's that? It's a video card. Sounds expensive. Is that like it's, the brand? Is that the newest one available? Yeah. Everything from ray tracing, you, know, you, you don't even know. It'll, what is ray I, don't, I don't know. It'll take my computer to the next level. And your computer yeah. was, for no reason, the most expensive computer in Korea, right? But RTX 3090. So, well. so this is going to up the ante. 
Yeah. This is going to make your computer even more expensive. Yeah, and, I, th- I, think, and I really think that's <laughs> what women are looking for in a man. <laughs> wait, wait, you wait, might not know nice this, but what, when he was when we were talking about our most like our most valuable assets, he goes, "My computer was like eight thousand bucks," and he just basically went into the, the computer store with eight thousand dollars and was like, so "Use all of this money <laughs> and make this the most insane computer that's ever existed. Make the most <laughs> expensive computer you can." And they, then then when it broke, the guy's like, "You don't need a computer that's this good." Yeah, yeah, like literally. And they fix you for free, use the capabilities. They, Bro, is there a YouTube they video? They owed him seven thousand dollars. You purchasing an eight thousand? No, no, no. But there's a video of somebody fixing my stupid ass computer. The, the guy's like, "Why would you buy this?" I'm like, "Well, <laughs> send me a link later." That's that sounds <laughs> actually, so funny. That was a, that was actually that could have been a good video. You yeah. walking in and saying, "I want the most expensive yeah. computer yeah. in Korea." <laughs> Find a way to use all of this. Yeah, <laughs> Put something together. Should have, could have, would have. Should have, could have, would have. Damn. You know what they say. Thinking about trying to install a. Never mind. I'm not going to tell you guys that. What? You can't. No, you can't start a sentence uh, and then finish. But I can it. if I want to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he seems feisty today. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> this is like the most. This All is like right. the best podcast we've Let seen him from put Dave. Your goddamn thumbtacks on that map, <laughs> Sam. If I don't want to say it, I won't say it. <laughs> that, we need All to right, start right, doing right, this earlier. All right, 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 I'll tell you guys. Since it's Christmas, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about. God, thank God Let's he's here to tell us. What are, gonna gonna do, what are you What are you going to do to that? Computer. <laughs> no, it's not about the computer. Oh, it's this his house. A, I was no, I was I was thinking about I was thinking about maybe installing the Tinder. Oh, <laughs> on your computer? Ladies, you heard it here. No, just, just I was thinking wait, wait. about it. You say install Tinder on your computer? No, no, no. Just, <laughs> just, on, just oh, okay. Because I was gonna just say installing like installing it. They've got Tinder on the computer. Why, well, why, the, why the not? Wait, right? The premium I'll version? tell you a million reasons <laughs> why not. The Tinder premium it, version or it's famous <laughs> people shouldn't use yeah. Tinder. Uh, no, I went on Google and I typed in YouTubers Tinder and a lot. I don't. Get, uh, maybe I won't. Sounds like a scandal. If you are going to do it… Sounds, it doesn't sound like a scandal, you're does it? have a scandal, I think. David, it sounds like a bad idea. Yeah. If you're going to do it, <laughs> do said- the, go premium. I know. I think… T- I think… I, I say do it. Why not? Yeah. I'm worried that someone who's obsessed with you is going to well, weasel their way into your life. If someone was already obsessed with him, they probably would have weaseled their way in already. It's not like… You know, you know what I'm… You know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at it this way. I have a lot of projects I'm uptaking… I'm in a pretty comfortable place in my career. People know I'm not a f- creep. I don't think I'm a creep. I'm not just going like, oh, I'm well. going to go. Get- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I don't, I don't go out. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go get. F-. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm not that kind of guy anyways. You so, want a girlfriend. Yeah. Why the f- So what hey, the That's f- another so, reason, baby. That makes sense. Yeah. Why the f- Are you looking for a girlfriend and yeah, you want to meet I'm, people? I'm, I want to f- I don't. Look at my cacao. Talk. I'm talking with zero girls. I haven't talked. I have a conversation with a girl in two goddamn weeks. Really? It like, and when I say two weeks, the last girl I had a conversation with was a f- PD for my <laughs> Like, that's the last time I had a conversation with a female. How does- Here's my thing. Here's my thing. I, mean, you, I, know- I, I talked to Diana. Sorry. <laughs> Is that the PD you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a f- I just I don't have <laughs> conversations. I, I want to talk Talk-hood. to a girl, yeah. and it's this right. pandemic is not. I haven't met a a girl in like a year. But irrespective of the pandemic, Dave is not the he, he not the I kind really of guy that's go going out. out and socializing with this person and that person all the time. I know he likes to go out and occasionally meet friends and go on a bit of a bender, but he's not going out to meet women. Like he's going out to spend time with friends. So I think. For Dave's personality, being that he is a little bit more introverted and likes to spend time at home, this is the perfect medium for him to actually meet someone. And I think because you can actually get to know someone without, you know, obviously you're going to see a photo of them, but you get the opportunity to talk with someone and kind of get to know them a little bit more before you actually go out on a date with them. Yeah. I think it's perfect for him. Thank you, Sam. That's what I was thinking too. That was my mentality. Hey, Dave. I've got some uh, interesting girls for you to meet. I can… Oh. I can facilitate that if you like. Isn't that so good, dude? This is like a personal tinder. And if that doesn't work out, then, you know. My answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk later. We'll talk later. <laughs> what, wow. how, does, how does the perfect girl fit into your life? She understands that I wake up at weird times and sleep at weird times. And we can just… Uh, the perfect girl is a girl where time doesn't become a factor. What would be the perfect date for you? What would be? What would you consider the perfect? Playing League of Legends at my house. Does she have to be good? No. Oh, okay. I'd cool. I'd love to carry her. Ooh. Ooh. I like. Both okay. I like. Way, way, I, 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 you know, I, and, yeah. I want a girlfriend who's at least open to video games. That's all. 
Just open to play Is video games. Is that why what if she was never a let me hit it? What? <laughs> what if she was a Twitcher? I wouldn't mind that at all. I think that's cool. Somebody would who's that busy. Be something that, would that be a positive for you? Yeah. If she uh, was on Twitch? Yeah. And gamed on Twitch? Yeah, that'd be cool. Have you, ever, be? have you ever hit on a girl on like a, no, while I, playing a video I don't, game? No, I don't hit on girls. That's the thing. That's my problem. What would be a turn off? What would be what would be or a deal breaker for you? Um a deal breaker. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what a deal breaker would be for you. I don't know. You're open I, it, to anything. I, I, yeah. I, so I, hairy back would be fine. <laughs> Let's not talk about uh, like appearance wise or like a personality. Form. That's what I'm, I'm yeah, thinking think and personality. I can't think of any. Yeah, I or guess, if it was I guess somebody who's mean. <laughs> yeah. I think That's like you don't like, like mean people. Oh my god! Like rude, rude, bit. rude people or like people oh, who aren't polite. Yeah. I, I don't like when they. I don't like when a girl has a lot of like too, like too many guy friends. Get a little jelly. It, I get jelly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just get. I not. I understand if they have because I I I have like arena and stuff that I make videos with and everything you know. But I don't just if you're like talking to a lot of guys on it just makes me jelly. Makes you jelly. Yeah. Jelly in your belly. Jelly in your belly. In the belly. I don't know. I, 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 but, but I'm not like a. I'm not a violent, jealous type. I'm not. What do you do? Talk to guys. I'm just like. Who the hell is Steven? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You say, babe, I don't. I really don't want you to talk to so and so. No, I just go. I just go. You can oh, leave who, now. No, I just go. Who is it? And they're like, oh, it's just a friend. Don't worry about it. And I'd be like, okay. But and I have no friends. But if they're like. I don't know. I don't know. Was online <laughs> dating around when before you got married? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. long have you been married? Something Cupid, uh, right? Yeah, okay, Cupid. Or something Cupid. I think it was around back in the Wait, day. How Tinder long have you been married? Uh, 2013. Seven years. Oh, that's… that's not, so, that's not, not that long. But yeah, I mean, okay, Cupid. There was a lot of online dating apps back in the day. Yeah, there was plenty. Even, but I think, but even more now. No, never. But I think even more so back then… It was okay. There was people that were there to date. There were people that were there just to. It was kind of also like a way to meet people. Like I think when you live in a, especially a city like Seoul, and you've got so many people and everyone's so busy. And I guess for me, like this is I'm I'm kind of experiencing it at the moment, but in a different degree to Dave. Being that I'm married, I'm not looking to meet a girlfriend, but like <laughs> I'm looking at my cacao. I'm looking at my cacao messages, and I'm like. Nobody's reaching out to me. You know like, what it is? And You're too big now. No, but also maybe it's because of where I am with my children yeah. and whatnot. And I think also 2020, people aren't going out as often. But like I'll look at… I'm, I'm in a, a couple of group chats that are… It's kind of like um, fans of my children that upload photos like hundreds of photos a day. That's like the only thing that pops up on Kakao now for me. Oh, do you want me so to message let's you? Let's text Sam. No, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Like I'm not… It, it's just kind of… I looked at it the other day and I'm like, wow. I think he's too famous and rich. This is where cool. I am in life. Famous problems. <laughs> life's, yeah. life's changed. It's lonely at the dude, top. Dude, I'll hit you up, dude. It's just I don't want to… Uh, no, it's, it's not that. It's, I, but I think also when you have children, people realize that your priorities change. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not like let's go and get a beer is, is not something… And also you're not drink. drinking beer. Yeah. That's you're not drinking coffee. Like, As an Australian, you're not drinking beer? No, I haven't had a beer for a while. Want to play some games, dude? Well, want to drink some beer? Screwed me up. <laughs> I'd love to drink some beer. <laughs> Speaking of games, what do you want for Christmas? Oh yeah, that's where we were. PlayStation Five. Oh. Yeah, you got. I'm sure you got to hook up at Sony. And get- uh, no, he no, I don't. <laughs> Fuck. I'm. I'm. I'm you getting get gifted Nikes other- and all that. Well, I just got. I just got gifted another pair of. These ones got sent to me yesterday. Tell them to nice. send your PS. Tell Nike you want a PS. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, "Fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not. Yeah, I I've tried to search high and low, and I had a hookup in America, and he's like, "I can get you one," but they're selling for like fourteen hundred dollars at the moment. Well, I'm like, I don't want to spend an extra five six hundred dollars over retail price. Yeah, you don't want to pay those. Who are screwing everybody over? Wait, well, they're, they're reselling PS5. Yeah. yeah, they're done. There yeah. aren't enough. Like it's not just it's sneakers thing. anymore. It, it's mm. X- Xboxes and, and PS5s mm-hmm. are being the scalpers. Resellers are, yeah. Scalpers, all they, over it. I hate that. And they use bots to, to buy. O- order them online uh. since you can't order them retail. And then they screw people over who are desperate who want to get one PS5s for their children. They are 
ruining cri- the Christmas spirit. They're the Grinch. No, I don't yeah, know. That, that's the new oh, age I Grinch. I just watched yeah. The Grinch two nights ago. Yeah. That is so good. It's a one with Jim Carrey. Yeah. That movie's amazing. They're adorable. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. It's I so actually, good for so kids cute. and adults. Actually, wholesome, I, content. I wholesome content. Actually, yeah, wholesome content. Wholesome content. Version. What? There's an animated version. Yeah. Oh, Dr. yeah, yeah. That was good too. Yeah. But that was just, it just got taken off Netflix and the Jim Carrey ones oh, everyone left. Like, Jim Carrey's the man. You wanted to show your kids a Dr. Seuss version, right? No, they'd already seen it and they're like, let's watch The Grinch again. And I looked for it. It was only the Jim Carrey version and they're like, no, we don't want to watch that. It's pretty scary. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not, literally what they said. <laughs> <laughs> literally. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I've just translated it. <laughs> I've translated it. So Turn that yeah. trash off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jim, Jim Carrey, when I'm watching it, I'm looking at it. It's, it's kind of scary. Well, yeah, yeah, like I didn't, I didn't like that version as much either, personally. The other it thing I wanted for Christmas, but I can't get is a, a a Rolex Submariner. But yeah. Oh, he also wants a good cow talk from friends. I'll message you, bud. I'll message you too. You. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? He just said Rolex. I want a Rolex. Rolex. You want a Rolex? Too? Yeah. yeah, but uh, I- you know, you know, they're almost impossible to get your hands on right now. Really. Like I, I walked into the store the other day and I was having a conversation and they're like, as soon as they get Rolexes in, they walk out the door. Why? Korean people Wait, love Rolexes. No, it's, it's the first thing they buy when they become successful. It's not just it's not just rappers. Anyways. It's not just Koreans, but at the moment, one of the things they were saying is because of this whole COVID situation, people mm. aren't traveling, people aren't spending money, extra on, money. Uh, yeah, this extra money that they've got lying about that people were going to go on holidays or whatnot, they're spending it on <laughs> watches. Or or Chanel handbags or or other mm. high end items. That young poom. <laughs> for that ass. No. All right, scratch the Rolex, <laughs> but I, I do want a Rolex eventually. What do you want? But I just moved into a new place like uh, about three months ago. In Gangnam. Uh, in Songsu. Songsu. Which you know, which is across the river. Yeah, yeah, real hipster close. neighborhood. That place is nice. Yeah, I it's love. Very cool. I love Songsu. Yeah, it's like a, it's like the, it's like Brooklyn. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. It's cool. Never um, there, so I don't have a TV, but I, what I want is a really nice projector. And I've been, mm. you know, telling all my friends, I was like, I want to get a projector, you know, so that when people come over music videos and mm-hmm. watch movies and stuff like that. But I haven't gone around to to getting one, so I'll buy myself one for Christmas maybe. Yeah. If you get a projector, you also need surround sound. Oh, you see, I didn't even think about that. He's making a home theater right now. Oh, you are? I'm in the he process. just bought a mansion. <laughs> no, I didn't the other buy day, a mansion. The other day, I was walking around in this neighborhood, and I was like, this is the richest neighborhood I've ever been in in Korea. And then Sam hit me up. Like, what are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs> he, saw me, he saw me walking. I was going to take a hike. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process. I've just signed the lease on a new house. so And it's got a basement area that the owners are like, we were going to make this a home theater. And I'm like, I'm gonna great minds it. think alike. Because congrats. I had the same idea. Yeah, congrats. We're gonna make because. a home theater. Yeah. In the in the one of the three floors. Holy man! In Seoul. Man, if y'all haven't been to where, Korea, where, where, that, where, that, where, that doesn't where, exist. Where yeah, Dong. Yeah. Your life's good. We live not, now. We live close. I'm moving. I'm moving closer to your old house than yeah, where. Yeah, but I I'm used still to. in Sangsu. Still close. We're still super close. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you should come over. You should have you guys tea. Should have coffee. Wait, where are you guys? But Hongdae. Hongdae? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm moving to Yonidong from Ungamdong. Um, yeah. We should totally kick it, bro. He has like when I get when I get, when I get the ha- when I get the house, I've got a yard. He's he's a coffee date. You have a, a guy yard. Who You're literally the people from Parasite, dude. <laughs> 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 I have a barbecue party. You can come over. That's oh, yeah. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. What neighborhood was Parasite filmed in? I always wondered. I think it was like Hanna or I thought it was like around. I'm not like, sure. Yeah. Ha- the Hyatt. Yeah, the Hyatt. Yeah, like probably. Diane there, should yeah. know this. No. Probably there or Yoni Dom. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that house looked so cool. It's crazy how much a plot of grass means to you after living here for a long time. Mm-hmm. So you want a projector. a projector. Have you been naughty or nice this year? That's my question I for you. Leonard gets a little naughty. <laughs> I think he gets very naughty. <laughs> I've been very nice this year. He's I, nice, he's on, nice but on. he can get a little yeah. naughty. Nice, but… I, how have I given you guys naughty vibes? <laughs> Well, you're Australian yeah. to begin with. Yeah. So I'm Australian. That's the only naughty you're going to get out of me. Australian, yeah. tall, good looking. I think it's not. Going to get single? N- no. Oh. No. Not so I'm, I'm, I'm Oh, that's nice. right. You I'm said nice. you came here because of a, a, yeah, a, a woman. But I, I'm here for, you know, to, to push my career forward more than anything now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 
What uh, what's the naughtiest thing you ever did as a kid and got you in big, big trouble? Oh, in Australia, that in could Australia, be, oh, shit, that could be so much trouble. Yeah, see, like I appear as a, a naughty person, but it's pretty, it's pretty really bland cool. over here. You don't really. I was just. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh no, yeah, I was rolling with it. I was like, damn, I didn't know. I, I might like look that. a little naughty. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to plug. You got stuff you can promote, right? So if anyone wants to check out the, the jewelry that uh, we've been making, it's at capsule.collective, capsulecollective.com. Um, and if there's any great Southeast Asian, or not even just Southeast Asian content creators, hit me up um, at cool. It's Leonard Lim, you know, and uh, let's, let's talk. Let's work on some stuff. Sweet. You should hook me up with some cool content creators so I can do collaborations with them too. Yeah, man. We would love to. Let's and you know, and you know, some so. earrings for Dave. Dave's got his ears pierced. You want to do some cool… Stay out of my business. Let's make some. Let's make some earrings. Buddy. You know, I'm talking let's to make him. Some I'm not earrings. talking to you. I, back to the back to the, the, the talent management. <laughs> yeah. I, I, so some with Southeast Asia, are you also promoting artists out there? Um, no, not currently. I mean, um, I have friends that I'm I'm like advising mm -hmm. and helping out there, mm -hmm. but uh, because I'm based here, it's pretty much. A lot of the work that we're getting is Korean companies wanting to promote their product services mm -hmm. in Southeast Asia. Yeah. And you know, Southeast Asia is my, my strength. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of partnerships that I have with marketing companies, with, um, with all sorts out there that are trying to connect with these you know, Korean companies, Korean products out here. So it's a lot of… Uh, I'm, I'm trying to be the bridge between Korea and Southeast right Asia. Right on, man. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I need that's to a big talk, bridge I mean, too. It's a huge bridge, you know. I, I just Gigantic. South, yeah. Southeast Asian fans are super loyal too. Massive, 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 massive and yeah. loyal. I'm sure you have a, a huge support. Out I, I love Asia. my Southeast Asian fans. It's not at that level, but yeah. you know, yeah, it's 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 immense. It's it's immense. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, even I, in I've um, done content about Southeast Asia a ton. You, oh, a ton. Awesome. Look it up later. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Uh, yeah, we'll connect after this. Uh, I think. Um, the the even for uh, the jewelry and and for the K-pop audience that we've been creating massive massive support out in Southeast Asia, so yeah, I'm I'm really glad that like I have that link and my family is still based in Singapore. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. that's awesome. What does 2021 hold for you, or what do you hope that next year will bring for you personally and also mm. um, professionally? Uh, 2021, I think, you know, for the world's sake, I hope that we all, you know, get over this. There's a vaccine pushed out as ASAP and then we can all travel again because I really miss traveling. Yeah. yeah. As great as, you know, just sticking in Korea and then working hard and achieving that much mm -hmm. is great. I do miss, you know, being free and traveling and working on the road. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so that's the first thing. And secondly, as like, you know, career-wise, um, I just don't want to get into… Um, I just want… I don't want this work mode to stop. Like this thought and this process that I've been on the past three, four months. Um, I want it to just keep growing exponentially. So you want to be static? Yeah. yeah I, no, I don't, I don't want to be static. Yeah, I want to… Wait, doesn't static mean moving? No, static… Yeah. <laughs> Stupid Dave. Can I tell you something? <laughs> the other I am that. so it's cool, glad. Bro. I thought I you were trying to be funny. What that word meant. Yeah. I got scared. I was kind of like, wait, did I, 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 did I get the… Either. Really? I thought you were trying to be funny. I used to yeah. freestyle. Yeah. I used to say it in all my freestyles. I wasn't and, trying to be funny. I'm just an idiot. I used to Static. say it in all just, my freestyles all the time and my friends is, would look at me like, I don't think he knows what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, static is yeah. to stay still. Yeah. So you want to be stasis. Stasis. Is that the opposite of static? I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm to know. Well, the opposite of static. That's what I want. I want to, you know, keep keep growing as as much as possible and to keep working hard. Right on. Cool, yeah. brother. Thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, guys. appreciate it. Yeah, that was oh, fun. Yeah, that was, yeah, it was fun. a lot of fun. Yeah. Hey, I didn't realize it Last. was. I didn't realize we've been talking for so long. For time, really yeah. Yeah. time just flew. How do you like this version of Dave that's not falling asleep? It's really I, good. I I must admit this is probably the most enjoyable podcast I've had with you, Dave. I'm used to yeah. falling asleep. <laughs> and even though you texted me, you shut. The up before you came, you weren't even mad at me when I got here, which is awesome. <laughs> he normally has like two or three monsters. Really? No. Yeah. <laughs> two or three monsters during the podcast. All he needed was one coffee today. Half a coffee. It's not even. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a good day. What? It, yeah, it's a, a coffee, good Dave. day. It's a good day. It's a good day, and it's a good Dave. Yeah. I like earlier. By the way, I kind of like earlier. Let's do earlier. There we go. There, there we go. go.
Close us out, Samuel. Okay, Leonard, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and of course, I- any other opportunity where you can join us in the near future, we'd love to have you back again. And good luck with everything everything in the near future. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I uh, hope to be back soon. Awesome. Of course, if you want to watch this episode in its entirety, you can find us on YouTube, uh, Dive Studios. You can also find us on Instagram. Don't forget, you can listen to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, and we appreciate any review you leave for us there, preferably five stars, because anything less than that, and it's up the average. (laughs) Don't f*** with the average. You should do TV. (laughs) (laughs) You think? (laughs) That was so good. All right, that's it for Nonsensical this week. Thanks, guys. Thank Thank you. See ya. Happy Halloween. Hope you enjoyed the clip. If you did, listen to the full episode on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And make sure to subscribe to this channel, Dive Studios, and put those notifications on. Hit that bell. Boop, boop, boop.